Well, back here in Seoul, a military and security officials from 34 countries are gathered for an annual two day defense dialogue. Topping the discussions table, North Korea's nuclear program and disputes in the South China Sea. Our defense correspondent Kim Yun-bin reports. The Seoul Defense Dialogue 2016 kicked off on Thursday with military leaders from 34 countries and five international organizations taking part. Topping the agenda is regional and international security issues involving North Korea's nuclear program and maritime disputes in the South China Sea. During the dialogue, South Korean Prime Minister Hwang Yuan emphasized the importance of a nuclear-free peninsula. Our government, the UN and the international community need to put strong sanctions and pressure on Pyongyang so it will go down the path of denuclearization. The first plenary session on Thursday focused on the denuclearization of North Korea and how to enhance international cooperation on the issue. The participants assessed North Korea's growing nuclear threats, UN Security Council resolutions on Pyongyang's nuclear program, and how the framework of the Iranian nuclear deal could be applied to the regime. We should unite and show our strong determination that North Korea's nuclear and terror acts are unacceptable. If Pyongyang doesn't change course, we should make it known they will suffer severe consequences. Also on Thursday, South Korea's defense minister Han Min-gu held talks with the chief of the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons to discuss cooperative measures to prevent Pyongyang's possible use of chemical and biological weapons. On Friday, the final day, the plenary session will focus on maritime security cooperation, discussing crisis management on the South China Sea issues. However, Beijing is not taking part in the forum this year, as a protest against Seoul's recent decision to deploy the U.S. advanced missile defense system THAAD to the peninsula. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.